the last of the blockbuster moguls. His is the cinema of the big budget spectacle. His track record remains the envy of his colleagues. Single-handedly, he has given more mega hits than any contemporary Hindi film director. For an imperial dream merchant, his beginnings were modest. He grew up on his father's swashbucklers and adventure films, and cinema was to become an inevitable profession, as it was a family tradition. Filmmaking is in my family. We are family dates back to 1931 when my father late Mr. Kiko by this side. He produced about 32 films. Of course, they were stunt films. He made about 32 films between 19, 1931 and uh, 41. He died in 41. Then my mother and brother, they became distributors. Then my brother started producing films. So I told my brother, now look, I'm out of the college and I want to join films. So I became an assistant director to my guru, Mr. Baobab Mistri. Then my brother said, are you ready for an independent break? I said, sure. Whom would you like? I said, my, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a great fan of Mr. Raj Kapoor and Nutan. Could you give me these artists? He approached them, and I got them. And that's how my career was launched in 59. Now, normally, Raj Sahib used to have Mr. Satyanarayan as the dance director. So when he came on the set, uh, he said, very Mr. Satyanarayan? He said, what on earth do you need him for? It's a song. I'll picture it as a song. So you? I said, yeah. I said, I've studied you so well in Avara. I've seen your Avara 14 times. I've been seeing your films. I'm a great fan of yours, so I'll know what expressions I want of you. So I pictured a song at Central Studios, which is the air-conditioned market now. I pictured it in three days, no dance letter, nothing. And I was, I was bubbling with, you know, our youth on my side. And I pictured the song in three days, beautiful taking, beautiful expressions. I, got. I said, look, you should do in that film this expression. In Avara, you did this, I want that expression. Then my brother had the song edited. He took it to RK, he showed it to Raj Saab, and I believe he saw it four times. At that time, he was... Uh, <coughs> working in some films of Mr. Nanda, Mr. R.C. Talwar and these people. He showed them the songs. He said, look, this is the, boy, this is the work of a boy of 23-year-old. No dance letter, nothing. He said, your brother is on. I want you to do what you do always. Like you sang that song, said, Mere tute hue dil se Koi to aaj ye puche Ke tera haal kya hai Ke tera haal kya hai Despite the modest success of Chalia, Manmohan Desai was not inundated with work. And he learnt the bitter lesson that hard struggle was as much a part of show business as optimism and patience. People forgot about Chalia. And uh, there I was back with no work. It's very building when I'm sitting here now. I have to recite down the ground floor. I had to sit at the window for months and months together, waiting for a producer to come. So I had no work for about three years, four years, and I used to write script. I wrote the script of Rajkumar. I wrote the script of Vada with my friend, Mr. Vinubai Kothari. I had a lot of time on my hand. And by then I had an offer to direct a mythological film. My wife said, no, no way. Once you get branded in the mythological, you won't be able to get back into social. We'll manage our household somehow. We'll find out, we'll fight out. We'll sell anything we have, but you don't wait. A break will come. And then thanks to my friend Shami Kapoor, he offered me a film called Battamiz. It was an incomplete film because the late Bhagwan Das Varma died. And he asked me to complete it. And I got going with that film. I completed that film, changed the script, completed it. And thanks to Shami, I got a film, and the film did fairly well. I was back again in business. In that I met, during the making of the film, I met an actor called one Mr. Kamal Mehra. He offered me his film called Kismat. And that's how things started rolling. And I made a film called Vada. That was about eight years completed. It was the most brilliant script. One of the most brilliant scripts ever to have hit the Indian screen. I could have said that. After Mother India and Andaz, they could have said one of the most brilliant scripts. But I was, that film was not destined to see the light of the day. After eight reels, it was scrapped. He, the producer couldn't make it. But if you see the eight reels now, they are mind-bogging. And what I am little today, Manmohan Desai, I could have been then with that film. But I was not destined to be this Manmohan Desai. I had to wait till the 70s to become this Manmohan Desai. His black and white films were apprenticeships. He was learning the ropes, as it were. But even if Battamese and Bluff Master fared averagely at the box office, it made one thing very clear. The young director had an intuitive feel for the ways of street life. He could go out on the street and capture the infectious spirit of its celebrations. Now, go in the ala I've been singing since childhood. As a matter of fact, I used to participate in that Govinda. 
in my bunion and shorts and I used to go and dance, you know. And my mother used to send the servant to bring me back. So I said, one day this festival, I'll bring it on the screen and I brought it in Bluffmaster. Nobody before, nobody since. Had the guts to picture as Govinda Ala Re Ala in the streets of Bombay. The very streets you are seeing down here now. I picture as with Shami Kapoor in the very streets of Gaiwadi, Khetwadi, all these lanes and by lanes we shot live this song. Govinda Ala Re. It was only a matter of time before Banmohan Desai was taken seriously and his filmography grew rapidly. His early films were made with the popular stars of those days, including the likes of Dharmendra and Rajesh Khanna, with whom he teamed in some great super-hit commercial films. But it was with Amitabh Bachchan that a distinct phase in Manmohan Desai's film career was to begin. The Manmohan Desai contribution to Amitabh's invincible screen persona has been substantial. The two have formed an enduring actor-director team. Camera. Clap. 18 take one. Chalo. Chalo. Jab maane se bahu maan liya hai, Bhagwan ne se swikar kar liya hai, to inkar karne wala tu koon? Mai koon? Ye samaj koon? Ab isse pehle ki meri dusri goli tumhare sinu ko chhinni karte. The first great hit he teamed with Amitabh was Amar Akbar Antony, remembered to this day as a fabulous entertainer. The film also confirmed that Amitabh Bachchan could be more than just an angry young man and built his reputation as a one-man variety show. Wait, wait, wait! You see, the whole country of the system is juxtapositioned by the hemoglobin in the atmosphere because you are a sophisticated rhetorician intoxicated by the exuberance of your own babasate! Anthony was right across here, this building opposite me. Between those two buildings, there is, there is, there, there is a gutter. Now there's a video library. For, for many years, for 20, 25 years, there is to be illicit den operating there. There is to be a character with that cap and a leather jacket. Why do you say it? 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 I like that character. I like that language. So I'll use it someday. And I did. It was so much Bombay, um, the language. And he was so confident. And he was, uh, he used to tell me during the making of the film, when this film is released, people are not going to call you Amitabh, they're going to call you Anthony Bai. And he was so right. The whole concept was Manmohan's, of course. The idea and the scene was all his. And, um, very surprisingly, he, he gave me total freedom. Total freedom to do whatever I wanted to in front of the mirror. Normally, he's, he's so meticulous, you know, you, you can't even um, raise a finger out of place or out of tune. Um, unless you're able to give him a, a much, much better alternative, he will not agree to um, doing what he already has asked you to do. So I was very surprised that he did give me this freedom. Then when he said, Charo, I'm still moving forward to it, closer to it. Then physically, it goes. That means I'm going towards to accept it. One, my, moving up, uh, my moving back from here. I'm moving forward closer, 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 closer. Manmohan Desai's formulae always seem escapist, operating in the realms of fantasy. But his gift-wrapped entertainers have an emotional core and the lost and found plotline is a favorite. Brothers, sisters, parents are separated by cruel destiny 
and Manmohan Desai finds this device convenient to target the heartstrings of the audience. <laughs> I find that format much better. I can create more interesting instead. My writers can come up with very interesting sequences in Lost and Found. They like to see, see it. They identify अरे अरे वो बिचारा अरे माँ बाप अरे वो भाई देखो घूम रहे अरे अरे उसको मालूम नहीं अपना भाई है इसको मालूम नहीं अपनी माँ है When will they come to know? They like it. I've always been labelled Ah, that man makes Lost and Found. I think before I was born there was Lost and Found. The first film that comes to my mind is Kismat. Bombay talk is film Kismat, which was a tremendous run of a hit. And I was told that it ran for about 100 weeks with Ashok Kumar Leela Chitnis. That was Lost and Found. Then came Avara, which is still Raj Kapoor's greatest film. That is again Lost and Found. I come into the picture much later. I come into the film way back in the 70s, Lost and Found. The mother is another ideal emotional center. In his film, the woman as a sweetheart or wife is not given due status. But the mother is an icon to be worshipped. And she is strong even in her suffering. I lost my father when I was only four. I hardly even remember what he looks like, what he looked like rather. Uh, so I adored and admired my mother for the way she fought back in life. With our meager earnings, she gave me good education, everything I wanted to do in life, sports and everything. She brought me up. I have glorified my mother. My mother has proved it in real life. She has proved it in real life, the way she has raised her children. So I said, let me bring up part of it on the screen. And in India, a mother is the central figure, always in a home. Mother plays a very important part. That's why Mehboob Khan's film, Mother India, was such a big hit. The central figure is the mother. Like all great directors of spectacle films, Manmohan Desai's stylization of action scenes gives him that extra audience participation. Cooley is remembered to this day for the stunning climax he orchestrated on the steps of the Haji Ali Dargah in Bombay. Shot that scene where the bullet strikes him. He speaks the Kalma normally. But then we dubbed it in normal speed, but we shot it with 72 frames with the high speed camera. There were two cameras operating, mid and close. With the result, whenever the bullet would hit him, he would look up. The eyeballs would also go up like that slowly. It gave a very eerie feeling. It was performed so beautifully. That sequence was the major highlight in that film. To see the same thing over and over again, they will want to see Lost and Found, they'll want to see good songs, they'll want to see well picturized songs, they'll want to see action, they'll want to see some new item in the film. They want everything what they have seen before, they must see it again. That's definite. Like there is a brand, like when you go to see Hitchcock film, you will go with a definite mind, you are seeing a murder mystery. That is, you're not going to see a romantic film of Alfred Hitchcock. When you see, go, go to see a film of Cecil with the Mill, you go with an expectation they are going to see a big grandeur. Now, they cannot deceive the audience. You cannot play the fool with them. Like Billy Welder said in his book, never cheat an audience. Don't swim against the current. Don't try to change the image of the actor too much. They come fully prepared that they have come to see a film with this thing in mind. It's a Hitchcock film, they have come to see a murder mystery. Give it to them. There's a deep sense of, um, of passion in his work. He passionately believes in what he conceives. And um, to a lot of people who don't know him, who perhaps don't know his cinema, sometimes uh, uh, think him to be a little silly, perhaps, at moments, at times. But he has always proved them wrong. Because Manmohan Desai, as a person, as a human being, I think caters to the common man, the average man in our society. Um, the needs, the wants, the frustrations, the desires, um, the expectations of this common man comes through in his stories in a glorified, well-presented manner. Gone of them. Janat Tanik. 
I always believe in clap traps in my film. As I said, I'm making the film a commercial film for my audience. The more the claps, the more the week she's going to run. So I always look for a clap trap. In my work, there is a method in my madness. They call me, I make films which have no logic. I said, I don't need logic. I don't believe in logic. And what I don't believe in, I can't ask my audience to believe it. But there is a method. There is a cause and the consequences. So I keep to that. And the madness method is how much proportion should be kept of each. So action, emotion, comedy, drama, music. Somehow, so far, I've been able to formulate these things in the right degree, in right proportion. So it's accepted. For a man whose career has been spent spinning incredible dreams, Manmohan Desai lives in a modest, middle-class locality of central Bombay. A movie tycoon who lives among the people he knows intimately. In the crowded chores and the alleyways of the neighborhood he grew up in. And if you know Ketwari, it's, it's where the average man, the common man of the city comes from. And he still continues to live there. Despite his success, his tremendous success, he still continues to live there. I think it speaks volumes for the man because he doesn't want to cut himself away from, from his upbringing, from where he grew up, from where he genuinely believes. And if you've seen his place, you know, you can... Ketwari is a place where you can virtually stretch your hand out and touch your neighbor. <laughs> A lot of people have seen me grow up here from the age of four. The best part of it is when I used to break the glasses then, they used to fire me. Hey, man, man, you have broken the glass now. Come on, pay us this money. Now when I play, can you break the glasses? No, no, it's okay. Chika, chalta hai. Ka, choda, koi. There is no harm. That's the difference between that Manmohan Desai and this Manmohan Desai now. Manmohan Desai as a man is as he is as a filmmaker. He's great fun. He's crazy. Uh, he springs various surprises at you, things that you're not ready for. And he's a great entertainer. He's a nice person, very warm-hearted, and uh, being such a big man, he's not conceited, he's not pompous, he's a very down-to-earth person. And he's crazy, I think. He's very confident about himself and he's doing a perfect job. And I, well, you know, I'm too small to <laughs> tell about him, but he's a super person. I said it's, it's my dream to work with him. Oh, so nice. <laughs> This is Ketan. Your son. Yes. Your one and only son. Not one and only. Legal son. Legal. 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 <laughs> look at him. I have looked at him. Uh, you know him? Uh, yes, I know him. Very well. You don't have amnesia, right? He thinks I don't know him, but I know him better than he knows him. No, you don't have amnesia or anything? No. It's not like that. 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 और ये जय जी हैं इस पिक्चर की मैंने अभी बात आ गई अभी देख लीजिए अच्छी तरह नोट कीजिए दिस इज सन क्या कहा एवरी पोर्ट्रेट के लिए अच्छा बहुत चलिए साहब the deep bond with his son Ketan and his grandchildren typifies Manmohan Desai. Like his films, which he makes for family audiences, he is essentially a family man who spends his leisure time with his grandchildren or playing cricket. He is basically a man young at heart. And as someone says it, you're as old as you feel. He is as young as he feels. In fact, he, I would rather say he's a little bit younger than me. He moves faster than me. He talks, walk, everything about him is action-packed. I mean, he's totally action-oriented. Manmohan Desai had married early, and the premature death of his wife, Jeevan, was a shattering blow. During that traumatic phase, he almost gave up filmmaking. Shan Vairag, who says, when he goes to this mashan, cremation, when he sees a fire burning, that time he wants to renounce the world. 
he feels he wants to do everything good in life. That's known as the word is the smashana vairag. That's a temporary phase. I was undergoing the temporary phase, but then my son. Now the central figure in my life is my son. He is everything to me, and I'm everything to him. And he goaded me on, coaxed me, goaded me. Come on, Dad. The interval of your life is over. Now the second half starts, and your second half is always very good. Come on, start your second half. I'm a dreamer. I'm a great dreamer. I always dream. I daydream. I'm always dreaming. Like when Gavaskar is batting, I visualize I'm batting on that pitch. When somebody like Anup Jalota is singing, I, I believe I'm singing. So I always dream, and I put up these dreams. I fantasize, and I put up these dreams on celluloid. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck now. Today, the press and some of my so-called friends in the trade may abuse me, may criticize me, will backstab me, will will be ungrateful to me. Now, when the job is done, but when I am dead, gone, and buried, they'll seek my type of films. They'll realize the value of the entertainment that I made. They will realize the amount of labor and ingenuity, the ideas that are put in my films. It goes like a famous uh, song was there of Mamad Rafi, "Dil ka suna saaz tarana dhundega, mujko mere baaz zamana dhundega." I'm still too vibrant, still too lively, still too active in life. I'll never sit still. I don't think so. And I would like to remain this way as long as I can. And when I can't, when I have to sit in a chair, not get up, that's the time I should go.